So phi A, define electric potential. Again, we have uh, we are going back to a level zero question. Okay, so electric potential is work done per unit positive charge. Cannot emphasize enough to please use positive as your reference and test charge. So work done per unit positive test charge. You, you do work to do what? Uh? In bringing it from far, far away, infinity to where a point, to a point in the electric field. So hopefully by now you are accepting of the fact that we will always need to do this per unit positive charge. So work done per unit positive charge. Actually work done bringing from infinity to a point is one mark one. And then the idea of per unit positive charge is one mark. Okay, next. Two point charges separated by 12 centimeters in the vacuum are illustrated in figure 5.1. So this is very, very common. Whether they give you uh, two charges that have the same polarity or different polarity, or they could give you, so your options are positive, positive, or positive, negative, or negative, negative. But positive, positive, negative, negative have very similar shapes, so I should just put them together. Negative, negative, or positive, negative. And then for both, there is the electric field strength against distance graph. There is the potential difference against distance graph. Go revise and make sure you know how they look like and how to interpret them. But in this case, we have these two charges. You are given that a is positive 2.0 times 10 to the power of negative 9. Okay, P lies on the line joining AB. The distance from charge A is X. Okay, boss. Variation with distance X of the electric potential is shown. So this is a VX graph. Your V will decrease to 0, then increase in the negative portion. Actually, the V is decreasing all the way now. Okay, use figure 5.2 to determine the charge of B. The change in electric potential when P moved from 9 to 3 cm. Okay, we are straight away going into level 3 now. Because you cannot plug and play what you want to plug. Miss, I know the equation. Sure, we can actually find the equation in your list of formula. Let's go check it out. List of formula. Where is electric potential? There. Q over 4 pi epsilon naught R. So I'm going to put it in. Q over 4 pi epsilon naught R. But this is obviously not a level 1 because you can't really just substitute. And it's not like a further analysis from the substitution. So immediately, we need to analyze already. Okay. So from here, you're like thinking, okay, you don't even know whether B is positive or negative. So we have to start from the very beginning. So I need some space. I'm just gonna... okay. Again, you could memorize the, the shapes of the graph. That is perfectly doable. But how much can you memorize as a different thing altogether? Right? So this is V, and let's say this is X. Okay, You have a positive charge here. And since I know V is inversely proportional to R, if I just want to draw the potential for this positive charge, it will look like this. Let's say this is VA. Okay. And then let's say now you want to think about VB, but my resultant graph, the shape looks like this. So for me to get this one as VA plus VB, can I say that VB must be negative? If not, how to cancel out? So VB will probably take a shape that looks like this. This is VB. So when you take these two graphs and add together, this is a big positive number plus a small negative number will get positive. 
Here is a small positive number plus a big negative number, you will get negative. This point is where they cancel out. This point here. Equal, equal, they cancel out. So obviously, this means that this charge B, this negative charge, this is B. Okay, so when we substitute, when we use this equation, this one is scalar. So from definition, we will include polarity. If it's a vector, if this is the E against X graph, then you will not include polarity and draw arrows. Okay, so if this one is vector, this graph is vector. This graph is scalar. So if it's a scalar, include polarity. This means B is negative charge. And this is a good point for us to use because at this point, when they cancel out, this point here, I can say that VA equal VB because VA plus VB equals zero. So we're going to start from this point. Okay. So I'll transfer all of that here first. And I know it is equal to zero at four. Now. So I'm going to use x equal to four. Okay, let's summarize everything. At x is equal to four cm. V is equal to zero. This means the magnitudes of VA is equal to VB. Also, V is equal to Q over 4 pi epsilon naught R. When using these constants, do not use the calculator values. Ta-da! They got give you what? Please use their values ne? here. Because calculator will give you too many significant figures. And if you have too many significant figures, then your answer may not look like their answer. And what will happen in that case is remains unknown. So I'm just going to use back the values that is given to me. Okay, so use the data sheet. Don't use the calculator values. Okay, so from the data sheet, we got this. You decide lah which one you want to use, but I don't need to use either one because <laughs> this is Q A over four pi epsilon naught. Okay, chill first. Uh. I'm going to put R A and I will label R A later. This is QB over 4 pi epsilon naught RB. I don't know about you, but they can cancel. Yay, then I don't have to worry about it. Long. But you can choose to either substitute epsilon naught or just substitute the 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught one go, which is what I tend to do. Lah. Okay, so here I have ratio. I'm draw up here, okay? I rearrange. I have QA over QB is equal to RA over RB. Okay, I rearrange. I'm going to mark out RA and RB here. Okay. This X is the distance from charge A. Okay. So from here to here is your RA because your charge A is here. Right, your charge B is here at 12 cm. So RA is 4 cm, and da -da 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 -da. RB is 8 cm. Okay, very good. They give you numbers, so it's not as hard as we thought. So this is RA is 4, and RB is 12 minus 4 or 8. CM. Need to convert our uh, miss. No need. La. They have the same unit. They cancel off. We can say bye bye. We are looking for QB. What is QA? QA is given 2.0 times 10 to the power of negative 9. All right. So I'm showing the 12 minus 4 for future, future people who come back and they are confusion. So this is 1 over 8. No, wait, two, 4 over 8 which is 1 over 2. So QB will be 2.0 times 10 power negative 9 multiplied by 2. 
4.0 times 10 to the power of negative 9. Okay. Wow, three marks, man. It's three marks. But this is negative. So I must include the negative sign. I've already explained how I know B is negative. Because for them to cancel out, if A is positive, B has to be negative. That's why I use the term magnitudes. So this is magnitude of QB. But this polarity sign is one mark. Final answer correct is one mark. Uh, Using something like this, or you put BA plus VB equals zero. Of course, if you use this one, you will get negative. Lah. You will get one. Okay. One and one. They are not that uncommon, but this one requires you to think a bit. Lah. Right. Next part two. Change in electric potential when point P move from 9 cm to 3 cm. Okay, let's go back to the graph. 9 cm to 3 cm. 9 cm, where are you? 9 is here. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, 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 dot. Okay, so this is 9, comma, negative 10. Sure. 3 cm. 3 cm is here. Okay, so this is 3, comma, 1, 2. 2, right? Yep, 3, comma, positive 2. Okay, so you want to find the change in potential and to save myself some, okay, la, not just you, la, I scroll also, I feel motion sickness now, okay. Like it's real. Sometimes I record for too many hours and then after a while, I just, very pending, you know. Whiteboard's still okay. All right, I'm just going to put this here so I can stare at this. <clears throat> Position where x equal to 3. You just want change in electric potential. Oh, yeah, it's one mark. Okay, makes sense. So change in electric potential is just the change when you go through from 2 all the way to negative 10. Here to here is your delta V. Here to here. So delta V will be the V at 9 cm minus the V at 3 cm. If you want to write some booking, it's just one mark. So this is negative 10 minus, is it minus? No, I should take final minus initial. Sorry. Sorry, guys. We're going to go from 9 to 3. Yes. So 3 cm minus 9 cm. Ding, ding, ding. Final minus emission. So from here, delta V will be equal to 2 minus negative 10, which is 12. But you see there's a prefix here. So 12 times 10 power of 2. Um, Vote. I think the unit is there, but in case it's not, you write your own unit. Okay, so this part will help you answer the second part. 12, yeah. You don't want to write 12 times 10 power 2, you can write 1002. No problem, it's just one mark. Next, alpha particle moves along the line joining, okay, I think not L3, I don't know why it's this, it's L1. Joining. A and B. Okay. Reminder for the non chemistry people, although you already did AS physics, alpha is 4, 2 helium, uh, and the charge is 2 plus. The mass is 4U. Okay, so our alpha particle is going to move from 9 cm and just reaches the position x equal to 3 cm just reaches that means at x is equal to 3 cm the velocity of your alpha is zero 
don't be confused between velocity and potential difference. They are not the same thing. Okay, let me just move this a little bit so that I can see the question properly. Okay, Calculate the speed v of the particle at the position where x is equal to 9. All right, so we're going to now try to bring a particle from 9 cm all the way to 3. It may help you and me if I actually make this a bit bigger. Okay, so we're going to go from 9 to 3. which looks like it is traveling up the potential gradient. So it's traveling up the hill. The reason why we define potential as such a weird clunky name is because we want to be able to visualize what happened to a positive charge. If you place a positive charge at Q and you want to bring it, okay, let's say this is my positive charge, my helium, put it at Q, not Q, at 9 cm, and I want to bring it to 3 cm, I am pushing the positive charge up the potential gradient. It's like pushing a Hot Wheels car up a Hot Wheels track, rolling a ball up a plane that looks like this. You are going through an increase in potential. So there is a loss in kinetic energy. It's like you have a ball rolling from 9 cm to 3 cm. So obviously the ball will lose kinetic energy. So I would say the change in kinetic energy will be equal to the change in electric PE. But if it just reaches, means the ball roll up, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, reach here, stop. No more energy already. Then after that, what happened to the ball? Ah? Slide back down, no? speed up, and bye-bye. Okay? So it's a lot like right now, you remember we said that A is positive. And somewhere along the line, here, B is negative. B is negative here. So if you have an alpha particle position here, okay, maybe I should zoom in here. If you have an alpha particle position here, this is my alpha. And you want to move the alpha particle here. You think about it. Huh? Does this alpha particle even want to approach the positive charge? Charge A be like, I don't like you. Please go away. I don't like you. You are positive and so am I. And I'm going to push you away. So this alpha will suffer a repulsion that will become stronger and stronger as it approaches A. That's why alpha will slow down and eventually lose all its energy and stop. But it won't stay here. Ma. Just because you stop doesn't mean you stay stationary. The repulsion of, alpha, of this charge A and the attraction of charge B, don't forget, B is like, charge A don't want you, never mind. Come to me, I want you. So this alpha will begin to accelerate back in the opposite direction. So alpha will slow down, stop, and then accelerate back in the opposite direction. Okay? If you... If I want to misleify the question, I will ask you to sketch the variation of velocity. So it's going to the left, and then after that, it will change direction and go to the right. But yeah, no need lah. It is okay. So we just want to find the velocity here. No extension. Just do question. Okay, so change in kinetic energy will be half mv square minus zero because at v is zero. I'll just take the big number multiplied by the small number minus the smaller number. Electric potential energy is Q delta v. Just like if let's say this is a AS question and you want to find the speed at 9 cm, such that when it reaches 3 cm, it stops, you will take the Ke here minus the Ke here. All right. So the change in height or the change in potential is delta V. 
So this will be 2e times delta v. And this will be half, the m is 4u v school. Okay, so I have a habit of only substituting numbers uh, together so that I don't have to keep writing exponents. Uh, I don't like to write exponents that much. 1u is 1.66 times 10 to the power of negative 27. You can find once again from your data sheet here. So if let's say you are the type where you know you don't remember one, always go back to your data sheet and make sure you know where to find it. Uh. If not, uh, you only stare at this, you waste a lot of time. Okay. Your electronic charge is here. 1.6 times 10 power negative 19. See this? See this? Take some time to stare at it, to familiarize with it. Okay. V square is 2. 1.6 times 10 power negative 19. Delta V calculate already. 1, 2 times 10 to the power 2. Can find V square level. In fact, the 2 and 2 can go away. So. Very nice, very nice. This is good. So this 2 and 2 can bye bye. And then I'll just stick 1.6 negative 19 times 12. Okay. So, okay, I'm not looking for V square. I'm looking for V. So my V is 340092. So that would be 3.4 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 10 to the power of 5. Reasonable. As long as it's not greater than the speed of light, we are on solid ground. Okay. So where is the mark? This kind of three mark one is pretty straightforward. Here is one mark. Okay. Uh, final answer is one mark. Correct substitution. This layer is one mark. All right. So this is, I don't know, to me this is level two, but could also be seen as a level three question because it depends on whether you're familiar with the calculation or not. So always visualize this curve, especially if it's a potential curve, as like an inclined plane. Now. You slide up an inclined plane, you're going to lose kinetic energy. And then if it just reaches, it means that your V is zero. So how much kinetic energy should I have at 9 cm so that when I, I can reach 3 cm? And if I want to sketch out just a brief sketch of the velocity between these two points, Okay, I'm going to sketch the velocity of the particle. Velocity against position. So here your velocity is zero. Remember? And then it was traveling to the left. Ma. So I'm just going to treat the left as negative and the right as positive. So you are traveling to the left from nine to three. Okay, traveling from the left from nine to three. So it's gonna be slow. This is gonna cut this way. And you speed up in the opposite direction until you hit B. Is it? No, actually, hang on. This is against time. What am I drawing? Here to here. Yeah, this one a bit. I can draw against T. La. But if I draw against position, it's going to be a bit too much. Okay. Don't draw. Right. Because there are past year questions who ask you to describe the variation of velocity of the alpha particle. Okay, too complicates. Don't level five the question. So I'm not going to set crazy model papers up. Don't worry about it. So describe the variation of velocity. So the variation of velocity of the type here, type here. Velocity or motion of alpha. 
number one. From 9 cm to 3 cm, it was slow decreases. Slow down. Stop. It slows down at a decreasing rate and then at a slightly increased rate at this point, but I want only to mention that. Okay. And then number two. accelerates towards B. So basically now you will travel from 3 cm towards 12 cm. Accelerate then, you can also say B is increasing la, or speeding up. So if they ask you to describe the motion of alpha particle as it travels from 9 to 3, this is what's going to happen. It's going to slow down, stop, accelerate back in the opposite direction. It's like throwing a ball upwards. You go up the gravitational potential based on what kinetic energy you have initially, you will reach a certain height and then you stop and come back. You want to go higher, the speed here have to be faster, faster than 3.4 times 10 to the power of 5. Okay, so that's the question. Make sure you go and dig out more questions that involve this kind of two-point charges and go and take some time to brain. There's a other different type of shape. There are only two shapes, so make sure you are familiar with the other shape as well. That's it for this one.